evening folks come to the end of this commission the English Civil War sort of figures D done some covenanters and militia mixing with them as well first time painting English Civil War so not not 100% confident with uh, uniforms and things but it ended up quite simple just drab uh, greys um, Vallejo English uniform which is like a nice uh, drab brown a lot of that in there. I did like a, a, a toned down red as well with a um, little cavalry brown and some flat red for a highlight. But uh, yeah, nothing. I didn't reinvent the wheel, but I did enjoy painting up some different figures, especially the the metals, which were I think mostly Paul Hicks metals. So I'm not sure when he did those, but I think the English Civil War Rangers getting on a bit now. I think they're a bit older. The plastics weren't anything special to paint up. They're, you know, the uh, foot lockers, and they were fine to pad out the force. But I thought the metals were much nicer. And uh, there's some quite nice pikemen as well. Well, it's a nice figure out of the front there. Let's get him to show up. Um, there we go. Nice eye patch there. I probably fi probably my favourite figure is the one right in the front, and for some reason he reminded me of a sort of confederate, I think. There we go. And I've tried to base them up as best I can as well. And yeah, the the sculpts are quite nice, and the drummer then on the side, uh, the officer then is. Pretty spectacular. He had some white lace and things. And yeah, that's about it, I think. The pikemen are quite nice, and there's one quite odd looking sculpt at the back. Not odd looking, but unusual. Yeah, I tried to paint a plaid blanket on him. proper pikemen. There's only a few pikemen in there really, there's a lot of uh, musketmen and I suppose you call them firelock men or whatever this sort of early period. That's a commission ready to be sent off. I've got about 40 Spanish Civil War Republicans to paint up now, another commission for someone that's just down at my local club. Chris pretty much runs the show down there, but um, hoping that I can do a, a good job on his Republicans. I've got the special issue of the. Uh, oh, I'm not sure who paints. Is this? Are they? I'm not sure they're all written by uh, this author, but uh, Ruben Tergrosser. He's often in um, War Game Soldiers and Strategy, that magazine. He often paints things up and he does a real good job. And the magazine is great. It's got um, painting guides for pretty much anything you can think of in the Spanish Civil War, which is, you know, I'm sure there are some painted guides online, but it's just nice to have it in hard, hardback and, um, you know, have a flick through and it gives all the Vallejo colour guides, so perfect for me, really. And I'm just going to try and paint those up as best as I can. I've got, um, got them based up on two penny pieces and just put some filler this morning to base them up because I didn't fancy doing it later on because you can muck up the the paint job. I'm going to try and do my best with these proper layer painting and yeah using a proper like triad method almost maybe even some blending as well and maybe using the washes as a glaze rather than you know do letting the wash do the sort of um, hard work for you. I think I'm going to try and do the largely just layer painted but the figures are lovely. Paul Hicks sculpts um, Empress Spanish Civil War for the most part. So yeah, looking forward to doing those. Might make a start on them tonight, I'm not sure. And uh, I've got a lot of stuff on my, on my own that I'd like to paint up, but obviously commissions come first. And uh, yeah, Napoleonic French. I've bought a box of Prussians and Austrians. So Perry Plastics again. And uh, great value for money in those box sets. I've assembled the Prussians there. Really interestingly done because the half of the blanket roll comes over the front and the other half is on the haversack which you glue on so you have to align the, the blanket roll 
it's really well done. You only have to do the heads then. So they're pretty much one piece plastics, you know, for the most part. And um, yeah, loads of Perry stuff to sell. Um, sorry, to paint up. And then uh, on my eBay store then I'm selling some of my Napoleonic French. A lot of the metals because the foundry ones I think are a bit too chunky for me. And I prefer the like slimmer Perry stuff, the, the later Perry stuff. And yeah, I just it's good good money <laughs> basically selling uh, painted Napoleonics is a bit of a money spinner. So I think that's the way to go if I run out of commissions. And uh, that's enough of me now, folks. Um, hope you're all keeping well. And uh, still haven't caught up on the sort of recent flurry of videos. It's all great. And I've got the Blu-ray player set up here now with a monitor. So I've been watching all the war films. I've ordered uh, Tora 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 and uh, on Blu-ray and yeah it's just awesome I've got uh, Zulu on Blu-ray as well and you can see the sort of every thread in the tunics and things is sort of ridiculous detail so after basically only watching you know YouTube and things for a while and sort of low quality films is a bit of an eye opener <laughs> but yeah big big time into my films and uh, having things like the Godfather off on in the background is a uh, great company where I'm painting. So yeah, onwards and upwards with the um, the war films, I think. I'm just going to collect them like some sort of magpie. Right, that's it for now, folks. All the best. Ta-da.